Welcome to this tutorial video. Today's video aims to demonstrate how you can seamlessly integrate AI into your practice, not only to reduce time spent on administrative tasks, but also to enhance the quality, accuracy, and consistency of your clinical notes. GoodExpert is a powerful AI assistant built into the GoodEx system that transforms how clinical documentation gets done. Instead of manually searching for information or piecing together notes, you simply provide a few prompts or even record your clinical observations and GoodExpert takes care of the rest. It generates accurate, context-aware summaries that are tailored to your workflow, helping you produce reports and assessments with minimal effort. Functioning as a real-time clinical scribe, the good expert interprets your input to create clear, consistent and professional notes. It also integrates seamlessly into clinical forms, allowing documentation to happen naturally as part of your daily workflow. No extra steps, no duplication. This intelligent automation reduces after-hours admin, improves the quality and clarity of records and frees you up to focus more on patient care. With the good expert, your documentation becomes faster, smarter, and significantly more efficient, making every minute you spend in consultations count. The integration of AI into your clinical notes first starts with the setup. It is advised that our specialized GoodEx client support takes care of this for you, as well as advises you on any maintenance. However, I'll be taking you through a quick rundown of how it all works behind the scenes. Let's start on a previously customized examination form. If you would like to know more about how to build your own custom examination form, please refer to the related link in this video's description. Once the workflow event has been selected, your sidebar will display additional options, but the one we are focusing on today is the Setup AI button. Through the Good Expert defaults dropdown, you can customize which information you would like to include in the generated results when using the Good Expert tool. This is particularly useful when writing reports or referrals. In the settings dropdown, you can choose how AI generation is triggered, manually with a confirmation prompt, automatically upon form selection, or delayed I scribe as to what is necessary in order to get your clinical notes completed. The more specific your prompt, the more accurately formatted your final product will be. Now that the main prompt has been added, each field should also be completed with its necessary instructions. Again, we highly recommend having this configured by our specialized client technicians to ensure optimal setup, but you're welcome to manage it yourself if preferred. After saving this setup, we are going to navigate over to the patient's clinical screen where we can do either a live recording of the consultation or in this case, we will be doing a post-consultation summary. You can rename your transcriptions at any stage, whether you're actively recording or reviewing them afterwards. This flexibility helps you keep your files clearly organized and makes it easier to locate or identify specific transcriptions when you need them. Next, you can simply add the clinical forms you need and the AI will handle the rest. If you have any clinical forms, reports or referrals that you'd like to add to or refine without needing to set up anything extra, as well as with the context you currently have from transcriptions, simply select your desired workflow event and click on the Good Expert button. From here, you can enter your prompt and include any relevant context, such as demographic details, audio recordings and selected workflow events to guide the output. Once you have generated your prompt, you can copy it over to your chosen clinical form and change any necessary information. Please note that Good Expert is designed to support your workflow by assisting with documentation, but it is not intended for diagnostic purposes. While it strives to provide helpful and relevant content, the output may not always be accurate and should always be reviewed by a qualified healthcare professional.